Hi, I'm Glenn Gui, and you're watching Imagine TV Network. I deposited the manuscript in the bassinet and I placed the baby in the handbag. Where did you deposit the handbag? Oh, do not ask me, Mr. Worthy. Miss Prism, this is a matter of no small importance to me. I demand to know where you deposited the handbag that contained that infant. Okay, same place, please. <laughs> but, um, wish I can see you, can see you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The importance of millions is a lot about marriage and about all the politics behind choosing a partner, um, future mother-in-laws, for example, future brother-in-laws, etc., etc. Um, all, all, all the politics, politics which goes in and around uh, matchmaking, for example, and dating. I have always been of opinion that a man who desires to get married should know either everything or nothing. Which do you know? <laughs> Alan Bennett, the famous uh, British playwright, has once described the importance of being earnest as the perfect play. And I agree with him. You know, it's a really, really wonderful play because on one hand, it seems like a very, very superficial comedy about people that we know, people we can identify with. But then also is making a comment about these people. It's making a comment about human weaknesses, human foibles, and about the human condition. It's a critique about the hypocrisy of um, the class structure, as well as um, the way we perceive each other. But on the other hand, you know, it's done in such a frivolous, funny way that you enjoy it, but you, you, you don't realise that you're actually laughing at yourself. <laughs> when I see a spade, I call it a spade! I'm glad to say that I've never seen a spade. <laughs> <laughs> it is obvious that our social spheres have been widely different. I thought that it would be great to cast an all-male cast because then for the audience members, you just forget that um, they are playing different genders and really at the end of the day, what you're hearing, what you leave the theatre hearing is Oscar Wilde's language, his wit and his humour. You know, using an all-male cast, some people have thought that it was it's very pr provocative. I told my actors that, you know, I really wanted to to go beyond gender. These are just relationships between human beings. It could happen between a man and a man, a woman and a woman, or a woman and a man. It, you know, it, it is, gender is not an issue um, as far as this interpretation is concerned because um, you, you, you have the same sexual politics between men and men, between women and women. I, I always remind them that then, you, know, you don't have to act as a woman because um, that's not this interpretation. This interpretation goes beyond genders. How old are you? Well, I am really only 18, but I always admit to 20 when I go to evening parties. You are perfectly right in making some slight alteration. Indeed, no woman should ever be quite accurate about her age. It looks so calculating. <laughs> I've been very faithful to the text and we haven't changed anything um, in the text whether it's the other uh, names of the female characters or whether it's the locations in England um, none of that has changed um, you know it's really in our interpretation of it um, in the context of Singapore I think that whenever one has anything unpleasant to say one should always be quite dead <laughs> comedy is a very very difficult genre to do Particularly when we're talking about Oscar Wilde, you know, the language of Oscar Wilde is not easy to handle and one needs to have a good grasp of the language, one needs to be able to articulate and to have good diction. Um, so these are the important qualities for me, you know, um, an ability to, to understand and to handle uh, humour as well as uh, the English language, in particular because this is an Oscar Wilde play. This suspense is terrible! I hope it will last. Is this the handbag? Examine it carefully before you speak. The happiness of more than one life depends on your answer. Good chemistry is very, very important. What you are seeing as an audience member is live. Um, so the actors cannot lie. You know, um, chemistry is something which is very hard to articulate or to describe, but audiences can feel it. You can feel it in the air when two people are talking to each other and they're both relating to each other. The be beauty of theatre is that we spend a lot of time together rehearsing. You know, um, every day we're rehearsing together, we're eating together, we're playing games together. I mean, it's all part and process of us building up this chemistry 
not just um, between two actors, but as an ensemble. You have never behaved to me like a brother in all your life. Well, not till today, oh boy, I admit. I did my best, however, though I was out of practice. <laughs> Frederick's famous for de designing haute couture um, evening ball gowns for Tai Tai in Singapore and um, also um, wonderful, wonderful um, wedding gowns. This was his first time that anyone has ever asked him to design for men. And so this is his first men's collection. So I think it was a real challenge for him. But I said to him, look, I, I wanted something theatrical and Frederick's costumes for women are always very theatrical. Um, they look like they could be belong on an opera stage, for example. He knew that the brief I was giving him was not to create men's clothes which are ready to wear, which are casual, you know, which is not Frederick. Frederick likes to make everything very tailored and, and you know, very, very beautiful. And that was the look I wanted. And, and I, I liked giving him the challenge and he loved taking on the challenge. In Act 1, everything's black. And in Act 2 and Act 3, everything's white. Um, in keeping with my idea of creating a very neutral canvas in order for Oscar Wilde's language to be the main character. Do you smoke? Well, yes. I must admit, I smoke. I'm glad to hear it. A man must always have an occupation of some kind. Please come and catch The Importance of Being Earnest, which plays at the Drama Centre from the 10th of April to the 4th of May. See you there.